y'all. Welcome back to my channel, Milan Garcon. I am your girl, Milan Garcon. It's definitely Monday. It's Moan Shot Monday, to be exact. And I have not been being good in my posting schedule. Moan Shot Monday is supposed to come out on Monday. And it hasn't been. The past few weeks have just been busy. I've been doing much better, but they've been busy. I know in my previous videos, I may have seemed a little sad. Not in my last one, but the one before I had a whole breakdown on camera. So we're just going to move past that. You know, I'm just a girl. I'm just a girl. But yeah, it's time to take the hormones. So this is, I probably have exactly enough to last me to my next um, delivery of estrogen. So yeah, because I basically had a bunch of estrogen waste and I was not happy about that. And that's the week that I broke down. But other than that, today has been like a really productive day and I'm just really, really, really proud of myself because I've been up since I've gone to work at 1.30 and I haven't stopped yet. And I don't really feel tired. And I think it's because one, I've been taking my multivitamins again. So that's really important. Didn't know that that was two alcohol pads. Didn't need that. Um, I've been drinking a lot of water. Today, I actually ate a bunch of fruit for breakfast. I think I had like a banana and an apple because I was just on the go and didn't have time to um just like actually get breakfast. But I didn't have fried food for breakfast. And for lunch, I actually ate noodle of uh, ramen and boiled eggs. And then I had like a few fried shrimp. But at that point, I think I had gotten myself off to a good start and not um, started my day off with fried food. I kind of didn't realize how the like how the target that makes you. So we won't be doing that. Oh, I forgot to tell TikTok this too. I so let me just give y'all a rundown of what I did. I went to work, came home. Once I came home, I already edited a video on the train, which was pretty amazing, y'all. This is why, why, hold on real quick, YouTube, while everybody be trying to throw shade and do all this and talk all this shit on, on, on social media, you got to be very strong of a bitch to sit at home and give yourself a shot every week. So once I got off the train, I'd already edited last week's Moan Shot Monday, which I love when I can actually stay awake on the train and get things done. By the time I got home, out of order, I cleaned the bathroom. <laughs> I cleaned the bathroom... I, what else did I do? I cleaned the bathroom. I straightened up my room, of course, like every day. Like, what girl doesn't leave and come back to a, like a whole row when like a tornado went through? I meal prepped. So I made this um, penne pasta with a spicy vodka sauce, um, some chicken diced up and peppers, like red peppers, green peppers, onions, fresh garlic, um, caramelized onions, and some like, not fresh bacon, but I mean like bacon. And I basically caramelized the onions and the bacon and the garlic and a little bit of um, olive oil together just to kind of make like a, a roux, not really a roux, but kind of something like it. I really don't know what to call it. Um, and then I put my veggies in on top and then I let the broccoli steam on top of that. And then the chicken was easy. I just literally put that in a skillet and fried that up and kind of got it like a little, got a little like, I don't know what you call it, but like blackened. It's kind of like grilled, but blackened chicken. And then I made my pasta and then I put it all together and I have enough food to last me the rest of the week. So boom. And then I also made sure, oh, I went grocery shopping on Instacart. So then I made sure I got me some oatmeal for work because oatmeal and veggies are always a go-to. And I really liked how I felt today. And even though I did not have the oatmeal, I mean, oatmeal and fruit. Even though I didn't have oatmeal today, I just know that like the fruit really made a huge difference in my morning. It made a difference in my feeling of the rest of the day and all of that. So I'm just trying to start better habits. I'll be 30, you know, soon enough. I'll be 30 this year. And there are certain habits that I just want to have instilled in me like I don't want to waste money on ordering out every day I want to be able to like n none of our food is really good for us but like if I can be possibly eating a bit better than just ordering out all the time and then really not knowing what I'm eating you know what I'm saying 
Um, I hate when I do this, but you know what? I'm already taking too much as it is, so. Um, Y'all already know what I'm gonna do right here. I'm going to pause so I don't do anything crazy like I had that one week and TikTok, y'all can get in now to what it takes to be the girl. There we go, now it's all the way in. What's this? I'm doing a hormone shot. Yes, 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 estrogen's so good. Yes, it is, and just like that, we're done. Mwah. This is HRT, girls, hormone replacement therapy. Okay, do you feel it immediately? Um, No, you don't feel it immediately, but like, after about 12 hours, you can definitely, I mean, I feel like the pills, I feel, quicker like and and so I take um spir spironolactone which is a testosterone blocker which that will kind of make you sleepy so if you're on t-blockers you can feel those within like two to three hours and you'll start feeling tired I also take progesterone which is another form of estrogen and then I take estradiol which is like the what you just saw me take now that's the intramuscular estrogen and as y'all can see I don't really I don't bleed after my shot um and yeah, so that's done. But other than that, you all, I, what else did I do today? Oh, come on. What else did I do today? Um, I, oh, and then you just wanna, this the first needle cap is already back on, second needle. Sometimes I'll detach it to save space in here, but and then I don't feel like, all this trash being right here right now so i'm just gonna put all of this trash in here because i mean technically it does qualify but you don't have to i just try to make sure that my needles make it in here because they come like you can go like you distribute these at certain sites or you can call in like uh the, this company will come and pick it up and dispose of it i never like just i never feel good like throwing my needles in the trash or anything because i just feel like it could hurt somebody that's like picking up the trash or Maybe if animals are like around wherever they dump the trash, it could hurt them. So I try to dispose of those type of things in the correct way. Um, other than that, and I'm not saying if you don't, you're a bad person, but just think about it. Like, why put something else's life in danger because you want to be a trainee? Hmm. 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 But um, no, let me not be mean because some of y'all really don't like that word. Yeah, let's add this. I did my hormone shot. Oh, biggest thing. I officially have started the... Um, legal process to get my name changed, which is like so exciting. Um, Milan is not going anywhere. Milan is my middle name legally, but I'm not really going to be telling you all my first name like that. That's on a need to know basis. Or if you have my phone number, you probably have it because it pops up um, through my like Apple iMessage or whatever, my Apple contact. So yeah, I took the steps. I actually reached out to two places. I scheduled an appointment at one place, which is like an LGBTQ plus and trans resource center where they kind of take care of everything for you, money as well, because it does come with fees and things like that. But then I also um, submitted a application to see if it would get approved by this law firm that basically specializes in, um, you know, trans needs and trans rights and basically like once they see like, oh, you qualify and you can pay the fees, then they just take care of it for you. Whoever says they can get this shit done the quickest, that's who's getting the coin. I don't care about spending the money. Somebody else can use the resources, but I'm 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 more so of like, I want it right now. So or as quick as possible. Nothing is right now. And I have to continuously always remind myself to practice patience with my transition and my journey and to take my time. I do want to take my time. I know how important taking your time is. I've taken my time thus far. I was like living my life as a woman and presenting as a woman um, and identifying as non-binary, but I was like, to the world, they always saw me. Well, people around me always saw me as this. TikTok gonna say something different, but baby, we on YouTube right now, so. Um, but a lot of like, like I so I, I like to tell people I socially transitioned and, and and began that mental transition years ago, probably like in 2018 is when all of that started. So like for me, so um, yeah, the mental part, the spiritual part, and the social part had already transformed, and then last year in January I started medically transitioning and um being on hormone replacement therapy, which has kind of made the mental and spiritual part 
develop even more naturally just because it's just like I don't know like it like hormones really do change every like they change your entire body's chemistry so we've had this conversation before YouTube I'm really 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 excited for the name change I will be keeping you guys along this journey as well you all I'll be keeping you all on this journey and I'm just really excited because it's like this will be the start of a new phase of my journey, which is really, really, really like, because in about like, well, finish your thoughts. It will be, it'll, this is going to be life changing because moving forward, I will have le legal backing supporting my transition, meaning like applying jobs or going to the doctor, um, getting in a car accident, going to the ER, getting pulled over by the police, like, you know, things like that. It, you like you won't be a walking target for people that maybe are in positions of power that can take advantage of you and things like that. Like, it's just, it's really nice. And I all, for me, I'm not saying this is because some, for some people, surgery is easier to get than getting your legal name changed. Because if you maybe have a felony or you've been convicted of something, you know, when it comes to the courts, it comes to the law, it's very um, difficult to get things done if you have impending infractions of whatever sort. And with that being said, um, it's been real and it's been fun today. It's been real fun. Make sure you catch me in my next one. I am, you know doing it and doing it and doing it good and doing it well. I'm the girl in the picture, honey. Okay? Mwah.